This next game up is between Queens and TSB in the SCM or Stefan Selmar Omer. I don't know how to pronounce that perfectly, but uh, the, the tournament, uh, the bracket you can see on the screen, and this is the lower bracket final. And for Queens, we have Blade, Coop, Genosta, Menes, Cresty, and Damon. And for Team Solaby, we have Blood, H2O, Hunter, Specular, Leku, and Stonage. As mentioned before, Cresty did Merc for a couple of teams as they needed players in the tournament. He is playing for Elysium, who are already in the grand final. Uh, the maps were Gold Rush and Supply. Enjoy the game. It's going to be TSB against Queens. But TSB are using the very mixed up tags, making it very nice for me. So we're going to have the push coming towards side for Queens. I'm going to just slow it down a little bit. Don't want to run into the spam. Lots of Frags coming out though. Genosta picks up two. And there is one more player on that back area. I can hear some shots from somewhere. He is uh, pretty sure it was yeah, it's H2O somewhere. He's going to get pounced on. And this is a uh, nice work from Queens. They haven't take, taken too much advantage, although 10 second respawn, only three players alive from what I can see. And it's going to be Specular going very aggressive on that back, back side of the map. Leku manages to clean things up. And Cresty has snuck in and manages to build up the tank. Really nice work from Cresty. And they're going to get away as well. Really, really nice push. Perfectly timed by Queens. And uh, Menace wants to destroy a chair, which you cannot destroy. As so four players stream out this right-hand side of the, the tank spawn. I did semi fear a, a tank hold. You, you always hate to see these massive tank holds on uh, on Gold Rush. As much as when you're a player, you want the best holds you can get. You want the most boring game. You want to, well, maybe not in a mixed game as much, but in a tournament, you want the easiest win possible just from you dominating your opponent, basically. You don't want it to be close. But then when you look back over games you played, you always remember the ones that weren't close the most, so it's it's hard. Mix of emotions. I think a plant has gone down at the barrier. I'm not sure if this is an ally plant or not. I assume it is. Oh, is it's just about to blow. I didn't slow down the truck tank by too much. If at all, no one has continued to escort that, and the ally team, I think, are all over the courtyards. Or at least they were. Uh, kind of camping out at the top of the stairs. Need to move that, that tank. Get the objective rolling. Allies are uh, kind of everywhere at the moment. A bit of damage on towards the tank from, from Specular. Nice revive work. I'm going to get that tank into position. Not much resistance from the Axis team. And the Axis, maybe the Allies, sorry, the Queens guys, getting a little bit of a bonus coming fresh off of a game. It would be slightly warmed up. Tank has been destroyed or damaged, shall I say. Push coming up from Stonage. He's got a nade in his hand. He's going to get that Engineer, surely, front of the tank. Nice prediction from Stonage, but didn't manage to pick up the Engineer kill. Menace decided to build it from the back. So we have Presti just scoping out the spawn. Going to get a lot of damage and a kill. Does manage to take down Blood on a full spawn. I think a bit of damage, more damage came in on towards the tank, and it isn't in position. As uh, no NGs are going to be able to build that up. Here come the engineers. They're going to get quite a bit of charge in on this. The tank should be in position now. Did they move it? They didn't. Genos is going to get that done. Nice grenade by H2O. It might get a bit of damage. It does. Nice work. He's going to get a full spawn here. No ideal. They have got a few falls in there. Uh, here on Gold Rush. And now, now on the backstage with 11 and a half minutes left. Nice rifle comes out from Coop. I'm going to stick with him a little bit. He's aware of the aggression potential. He's going to just push down. Sits on a mine. Decides to kill out on a, a shortish spawn. Nice work from Damon. Revival coming on that third arch. Let's pick up that third arch defense. It's going to be uh, Blood and Specular. Specular has a... Uh, Respect up as a, a medic. Three players in position. Rifle could have been big. Much aggression from the Allied team just yet. Very, very deep defensive positioning from the Axis. And it just allows the Allied team to just come in straight in the front doors. 
Menace is going to run out the back. Run out the front, indeed. He is going to get shot from second. As Leku gets a lot of damage off and the kill, he will try and close in for that secure. And he doesn't manage to secure it in time. Damon's going to be able to pick that up. He is going to be able to run underneath the bridge. And I don't see any Axis players in position taking shots from behind. And he is going to be able to secure the gold in the back of the truck. No builds coming in for the Axis team. The respawn will be coming in very soon. They'll probably come out second arch. Where are they? This must have been a really long spawn for the Axis team. And I think maybe they're going to try to go for that barrier, but it isn't going to come in. Really terrible defence so far. Nice air strike does come out. Doesn't manage to... Oh, it's actually a team, teammate that he takes down. It was actually a pretty decent angle, but unfortunately for him, all the Allied players decided to come off a balcony and come off long stairs. And they are going to be able to get that truck rolling again. And this is going to be like a five, six minute time. So strong from Queens here on Gold Rush. Barely any resistance on air, any stage. The biggest resistance they had was the tank. They slowed the tank down quite a lot. I think they got hit basically on the first stage within the first minute. And they get hit on that backstage within a minute as well. Pretty much the second attack. After Coop was basically in position. A bit delaying maybe with the, the builds. and That's nice shooting from Bloods. It's not going to be able to do much with the truck. And it's going to be a 5 minutes 55 second time around that. Let's pick up the damage and scores as well. 5 minutes 54. 13 frags coming out from Stonage. 13 frags from Coop. I mean, numbers aren't that big. But that run from Damon. Uh, that was so unfortunate. Leku was basically... He must have been on the parts and then got shot over the top of them. And I'm pretty sure... I'm not sure about the three-dimensional... How the parts work. Whether it's the base... As if they're documents, like in RCW, it's actually a piece of document that lies on the floor. Because if you jump over it, obviously don't secure it. I'm not sure if he if he did bounce through a model or not. And that's just such an easy, it's such a quick time. It's going to be such an easy defense here. They just have to have one good stage, and that first stage can be it, basically. So here comes the uh, Queen's defense. We're going to see what the allies can do because they have to be big everything has to go their way they have to hit some shots h tried to steam in through side he did get taken down by the rifle from back oh, it was actually a grenade from side and here comes a back push nice work from the allies but they are going to get shot in the back from presty and that's going to be an easy cleanup i think it's just specular by himself he's got some loose trousers i think that's what he means he's going to be able to pick up a kill on the spawn with the rifle i'm not sure if the revive came in if it didn't, that's pretty big because that's uh, that's Coop the rifle. Pretty big on this stage. It does look like he got the give in. Now uh, Coop there, I saw him. So yeah, we, we could have been big. That's aggression from Coop out main again. He's going to be taken down. Three players pushing in towards this area. Just Genosta is going to get called into action here. He's going to have a couple of players to deal with at main. Nice shooting. Could have been made aware of it by his teammates. They seem to have pretty good, decent comms, this team. So we're already we're down to four and a half minutes. They barely held on to the first stage for a minute. Or well, just over a minute, shall I say. Nice double rifle from Coop. Gibbs come in as well. Pistol whipped out from Genosta. He will respawn back in. And the Axe is all over the tank again. Shooting Glades. Double, triple headshot. Too quick, didn't, didn't even hear it properly. I'll say that was a double. Nice grenades. He's gonna clean things up for his teammates. Giving in 2017. It's giving in mixed games. This is, I think this, the serious mode is not on. Nice skip there, that was a really nice skip. Well worked by Hunter. That's someone out for 20 seconds as well. Coop gets uh, dropped from main. Revive will be needed. Two players in position here. Revive will be... <laughs> that's a poor that's a poor reload. Taking a bit of damage and maybe, maybe the push coming in through main blood. Let's see it dropped. Great shot. So I'm going to go and call it already. I mean, it doesn't take too much... Uh, 
to work out that this isn't going to go very well for the Allied team from here. They really didn't give themselves enough time. Their defence was almost non-existent. The biggest slowdown they did was the tank damaging. They damaged it twice. Other than that, not much of a slowdown. Nice rifle from Coop. Absolutely sweltering in the UK today, I've already said. Make sure I keep hydrated. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting kind of delirious. It's like a, it's so warm. Maybe the allies are going to be able to get this build in. It'll be a little bit of a bonus, won't mean much. Oh, they're not the landmine from Menace and no revive. Oh, just in time. Blood will be able to get this build. That would have been that would have been a bit of a slap in the face if they if they didn't even get there. Uh... So that is going to be the end of Gold Rush. They're going to escort the tank as much as possible. I'm not sure what the second map will be. I think on paper, uh, I don't know. I think this is a fairly even game. I think originally Dyla was meant to be in the TSB lineup, and that would have made quite a big difference. I mean, we've got some big shooters in this team. Leku. But Leku, Hunter, H2O, Blood, Stonage, and Specular. All, all decent players, all good shooters, all good rifles, you know, whatever they play. But they don't have, I don't think they have much in, in terms of leadership. And when it comes to the Queen's team, you could probably say the same actually. But players, I think players like Coop, maybe Cresty as well. <laughs> that rifle. I think, he got, I think he took some shots as he took the rifle shot. We'll let him off. But I think it's going to be coming down to the basics. It won't be too much in terms of leadership. But they're just getting the basics right. They're pushing together as a team. They're working together. And if you can get the basics right, you don't really even need leadership. Especially not in a mixed game. Nice kill from Blades. I have a Panzer frag coming out from Hunter here. We'll see it from the Axis point of view. It is going to be two. Nice work from Hunter. He's going to get those bonus frags. Let's see some uh, angry angry shouts on comms about Panzers on the spawn. I'm going to predict supply for the second map. As always in these mixed games. I don't mind it too much. I guess in a mix you kind of want the most stable map possible. Looking at the frags, 25 frags coming out for Blades. 3.7k damage going the way of Menace. Across the other team, we do have 21 for Stonage. And he picks up the big damage as well, Hunter, just behind him. So that would be a 2 to 0 lead. Update the scores on the screen. It's going to be Queens ahead. And uh, we will go on to supply as predicted. As predicted. I am some kind of wizard. Remove aim punch and ET would be godlike. The aim punch isn't that bad in ET. You just, if you crouch, you have less aim punch. Also, if you get hit less, you have less aim punch. I don't know. Just get prize money and it's a life. Uh, if, if only it was so simple. I mean, the community in itself would be a life, but would it attract new players? I think I think there would have to be a a remake to really to really have success, and it would have to be a. A, I don't know what you want to call it. It would have to be a remake that 
honoured the way Wolfenstein was. Not not the way they've made it in this single player game. As much as I played the new Wolfenstein games and the single player is actually fun, it isn't Wolfenstein. You know, it isn't like that is not RCW, that is not enemy territory. That is not that is not Wolfenstein. It's basically Call of Duty with uh, the Wolfenstein story. Which is fine to have fun and play single player games, fine, but no thank you. constant 1k prizes it's about how much in terms of numbers that et can draw i'm going to tell you that my my channel i upload all my games onto et of that i cast onto my youtube channel and I, i've got a quarter of a million views in two years and that is nothing that is nothing compared to other games when you look at some other big games some of their games get that in just one of their games gets that view my best video is a Nations Cup game that has nearly 25,000 views. That's amazing for ET. But if every one of my games had that, that'd be great. You go to like a big CS game, the community is just so so bigger, so much bigger. Yeah. They just need to. I think they need a remake. They need to buff it up, better graphics. They don't have to change too much, in my opinion. I don't. I think they don't want to contact Banny this time, though. Banny kind of destroyed uh, Wolfenstein in ET, in my opinion. But so we're going to kick things off here on supply. This is the set. This is the second map. We have got a two to zero lead for Queens. As we have got the. Uh, TSB team on the attack. Rifle did come out. It's the giving H2O. We are watching Specular though. He's got a couple of shots off, waiting for that recharge. He's got it lined up. He's going to get that shot off. Nearly picks up for angle two. He's going to get uh, rushed, and the big kid out's going to come in. Nice uh, grenades after the spawn from Blade and and Coop. Nice push from H2O. He's not going to. He didn't hit too many shots, but he was nearly making out towards the flag. Would it would have been a big distraction for his teammates. Are they going to be able to take advantage? I don't know how quickly these Axis players managed to get in this lower position. Nice revive from Hunter. They're going to get flanked from behind. Rush coming across the top now. Grenade nearly takes down Stone Edge. He's going to try and take down the guy in the middle. Just sees the, the face of the Axis player. Nice grenade again from Coop. Don't see it from his point of view, but it's just hearing this insta give in the, in the top left hand corner. It's just like, ouch. Let's try and pick him up. And get one off the respawn. He goes aggressive. That'd be quite hard to pick up defensive players on this first stage just because push and kill mentality is very hard to keep track of. Well, Coop doesn't, isn't aware that they're already pushed up. And the Gib didn't come in on H2O from H2O. Coop's going to get picked up. Nade will come up though. Nice work from H2O. Yeah, he's going to get taken down that back by that landmine. But he did a bit decent job. There shouldn't be a rifle on the next push for the Allied team. The artillery will cover the axis though. That is an Allied player making it into the upper area. Big Panzer comes out. It's going to be Hunter taking down one. Genos the double grenade will sort of even things up a little bit. Revive needs to come in towards Coop on that middle area. It does. Yeah, allies are getting in the frags, but they're not really getting in the gibs. You get a player out for 25, 20, 25 seconds, especially when it's the rifle. You need to get that gib. He's just sitting there on that platform. Begging for a gib, basically. Why is it? He's more likely begging for a revive, but... He just, uh, he's open for gibbing. We'll click up Blade, who's playing the fop on middle. There is someone pushed up at this rock here. Nice work from Stone Edge. We saw some really nice stuff from Stone Edge at KBG land, I have to say. Even though uh, things that didn't go to plan. For his 3-on-3 three -three team or basically for anything. But individually I thought he played pretty nicely. Party spam on the roads. Blade's getting that in. I'll pick up Stone Edge. 
He doesn't really get the headlines in his 6 on 6 team, of course. Playing with the likes of Fireball, Crusty Blades, and Flop. Even Stray, uh, same sort of situation, won't really get any headlines for the work he does. Stonage is a really, really solid player. And he seems to have got better as well, which is really nice to see. So give him a little bit of showtime. There's a couple of frags are coming in, and again, like I said, they're getting the frags in, not getting the gibs, and the Axis is doing a really good job of just picking up their teammates, making it as hard as possible for the allied team pushing in. There's a... Uh, the allies are respawning back in. Push coming out across the top. Leku's going to be able to bounce down. Going to get a bit of damage, but he's all by himself, and he's going to be getting shot by three players. Nice shooting from Hunter, and he does get a gibbon. We did see this before. Hunter did a really good job getting the gibbon previously. Really nice work from Hunter. He is going to kill out, but the rest of his players have got a few less players to deal with now. Not sure of the spawn time and the access players. It's only five seconds. We'll see the aggression on the respawn. That is actually maybe going to be one out for full. Nice Panzer comes out. Unfortunate for Bloods. He's going to be able to take down one. Again, no give. Uh, teammates to back him up with that gib. Can't really do much work with the pistol on the gibbing. A couple of allied players in this lower area. Remember, a full hold here would pretty much seal the deal for Queens. It wouldn't pretty much, it would indeed seal the deal. Just coming in towards the tunnel. Picking up Hunter again. Coming in towards middle. Frags in the lower area aren't going to get Gibbs. And the are doing a good job down here. Cresty and, and Damon on this left hand side. Genosta on that right hand side. They seem to be working together really well and I think that's more down to Genosta than anything because when the two on the left hand side shoot, they always shoot together pretty much. So it's up to Genosta to react. Nice work from Damon. Very sneaky plays. Extra had no idea, it was just still there in mid. Let's pick up someone else, Cresty, in this low area. Nice shooting from Cresty. Picks up two that landmine. Getting the, uh, getting the first kill. As you see Leku just sort of on top of it, just screaming. After he uh, found that landmine. Here comes the push from the allied team. They are seeing some Gibbs coming in now. Nice. Leku with a double frag. And they are going to be able to take that out over this lower area. Two frags of blood as well. But the revive still coming for the Axis team. And they're doing such good work with the revive play. If you have to kill an entire team twice because you're not giving, it makes it a lot more difficult. I will 100% confirm that. But they are going to be able to pick up the flag. I did not even hear it. I think that was on the spawn time. As I was specking an Axis player. And... The way the uh, the sound cues work sometimes bugs out, and the sound cue basically what happens is it makes the noise where you were. If that makes any sense? It's rare to happen, but it happens. Plant has gone down in that lower area. I'm not sure if they've got their hands on a suit or not. Coop will be uh, just aware that they could. He's doing the aggressive mines. We'll have to wait for that plant. No, no, no cover ops, no suits. Lots of spam. Artillery has finished. Another artillery. A little bit misplaced. It's going to force a couple of guys down the cave by the looks of things. Two players. Specular is going to get, get caught out by that one. Push coming in the cave. Damon needs to be aware. I'm not sure who the early warning system is from the cave. It is Coop. And he has been taken down. Damon uh, reacts quick. Which is to get in that frag. Oh, I'm lucky with the grenade from Cresty. Artillery on the road. We'll start getting in some frags. This is going to be a big artillery 
It is indeed. Blade picks up four frags, two with RTs, two with MP40s, and I think Leku's going to get taken down as well. Paws will come in. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Excess floods. That's interesting. What was that? Hunter kit for excess flood. I need ammo. <laughs> Spamming, I need ammo. <laughs> It's pretty funny. They don't even have a field up, so I mean, <laughs> I think Lekku's gonna get dropped, and it will be a five-man kill if he does. Oh, another pause comes in. I wonder what that pause is about? Prepare to fight. Another unpause. Thank you, uh... It's gonna get taken down very quickly. There's an RT on top of him as well, I think. He's not gonna get dropped by that. There was a four-man kill. From, uh, from, uh, from Blades. Another RT on the road, this time from Menace. They're gonna wait for it this time. What are they? They risked it a little bit. They went a bit early. Nice revive work from uh, H2O. His uh, second, second player actually tapped out. So he's going to have a couple of players come across towards CP to try and help help them out. Coop, shoot him in the back with the, uh, the K43. Face to face with a uh, specular. It's dropped. I think there's one, one or two players for the ally team at CP. So a little bit of control there. No uh, Axis players in position. There is an unrevived body of of uh, one of the players. Strike has come out. Shouldn't pick up too many frags. There we go. That's the destruction of the CP is going to come in. We have only got just under six minutes remaining. will start making their way towards that main plant as soon as possible. Big kill outs come out from Queens and that's just going to open things up for the LI team. Dynamite will get dropped by Bloods. Nades and rifles. Oh, look at all the rifles and nades. Needs the medic back up. It is going to be speculative to try and finish this off. It's not going to happen. Where did the medics disappear to? I think they all went to east, uh, west, sorry, or in the cave. I'm not sure what happened there. You hate to see it. And so Cressy's going to blow his own mine. Inadvertently, yeah, I would have just tapped out or killed out anyway. Push coming in towards main. It's going to be blood again. Drops the dynamite. More spam coming over the top. It's going to take some shots from cave. Mine's going to do a lot of damage as well. H2 didn't manage to get in that revive. He went for it, but the mine took him down. And so far, the Axis team have held on. Nice revive from Hunter. We'll see another kill come in. There's going to be blood to get dropped. Really nice setup from the Queen's team. This is looking good. Another dynamite defuse comes in. It's going to be on East. We've seen a couple of uh, defuses today. Not in this game, I don't think. Maybe at CP on Gold Rush. Damon with the, the maximum flank. Got a nice headshot off, long range, and then the easier shot. Couldn't hit a thing. It happens, it happens. Nice grenade, H2O taking a lot of damage. He's gonna make it away towards east. Double grenade coming towards him as well and he manages to make it away. No plant coming down at main. And I think the allies have uh, given up the ghost. I think they realize it's a uh, full hold. And it will be Queens winning with this full hold. Whether they're gonna play out the attack or not, I'm not sure. So they'll move on to the grand final, where they will face. Who will they face? Elysium. It'll be a, a semi Elysium mixed team, I would assume. Nice work from Genosta. Really nice work from Genosta. Long range shot. Whoops out that pistol. Takes down the engineer all by himself, but 
can only do what you're asked to do. Need a medic. Oh, the mine from Coop. Triple, like, oh, they're triple landmine. Just, just gonna make people rage, basically. This Queen's team is looking nice. Which is good news, because I think at least we're gonna be pretty strong. Demon. Takes a lot of damage though. Ally is still trying to go for this plant. Getting annihilated at the moment. Two minutes to get out of here, soldier. Gonna be able to get this plant down. I don't think they've even got an engineer anymore. They have got Speculator on the rifle. That's about it, I think. No, they have still, still got blood on the engineer. Team dam damage coming out there. God's gonna start making his way down to plant. At least I thought he was. Who did I see? Yeah. I'm starting to imagine things. Mirage. Everywhere. It's gonna be blood to try and get that plant down and this will just be a little bit of a bonus. Doesn't count for much. I said it's gonna be um Queen's Oh, that Panzer from Cresty. What the what the hell? That was just that I was like, where is that Panzer going? That's like to the stars. And then there was someone standing on the wall. Just got destroyed. I think that was H2O. Really nice from Cresty. Queen's easy win. They made it look easy, but they, like I said before, they've they've done the the basics Goodbye. to a very very high standard, extremely high standard. And when you do the the basics to a high standard, all's good. Let's pick up the stats. Uh, Specular picking up twenty frags for his team, but the big numbers on the other on the other side nearly double fragged. Thirty four frags coming out for Cresty and Coop, but Blade leading the way for his for his team with thirty seven. He did pick up seven point five k damage as well. He was the filled up on middle. He's going to be just racking up the damage and the frags with the RTs. You did see him get a big four man on that on that second stage, but that is it. That's going to be the win. I'm not sure if they're going to play it out. Looks like they might. Okay, we are going to have the arm pause come in. As uh, Cresty has the Panzer in his hands. He's not going to be able to connect. I think iPod did jump in. I'm not sure who iPod's replacing. Um, iPod is replacing... Damon, it would appear. Nostra's going to get that boost in. Cresty's going to have to wait for his charge. As uh, Blade's going to start making his way forwards. Nade in hand. Needs to be careful. Does get that nade off. If you get killed with a nade in your hands, you're in trouble. Cresty has actually got an MG42 in that upper area. And that basically forces... You saw the positioning of that field up. It forces him to just stand on that side. Four five-man push from the Allied team. Making it into that lower area. Plant might go down in this lower area very soon. Coop's going to get that down. And they're actually going to go for the double plant. Not a bad idea. Not a great idea, but not a bad idea. They are going to have to get a double defuse in here. No Panzer. Nothing just yet. Panzer does come out. And it is going to be Cresty picking up two. And I think that's it. I don't see any revivable players. I don't see any other engineers. 
And the, the four bunker has actually been picked up by the Allied team as well. Genosis is going to roll on down just in case they were defusing that. And that's it. A, a, a nice, uh, nice cover. <laughs> that's the dynamite. Coop, kick him. Kick. Team, kick. team kill. Kick. Kick. As uh, the pressure now coming across the top. iPod's going to revert his attention towards Cave. And they might not be aware of that he could be coming down here. That was a really nice idea from iPod because they hadn't blown up her. Most players wouldn't have been uh, maybe aware of the potential of that. But seemingly Lekka was well on top of it. Maybe he didn't realise they didn't blow up her. Yeah, I don't think their lineups are confirmed just yet. Because some of those players are playing for Queen, so yeah, it doesn't make much sense. Here comes the push across the top. Arty on the road will start picking up frags though. Coop needs to be aware. He does kill out. Panzer did come out from, from iPod. Let's pick up someone from the defensive team. Nice work from Leku. That's getting a lot of damage. Double frag comes out from Leku. So we're going to see a couple of frags coming out in its CP as well. Axis do hold on. Does it sound like there's a two or three players there at least. So Axis doing a reasonable job here on this second stage. As uh, Leku has yet to be overwhelmed. Until now, four players. It took a lot. Mine's in position. Spam's going to come down as well. Rifle from Speculator picks up two. Stonage with the double frag as well. As uh, I think it's uh, Stonage just uh, sort of running right here in the cave. A bit of support came in. Playing that middle window filled up. Nice double rifle again comes out from Specular. He's got two double rifles in the space of 20 seconds. Going aggressive on the roads. He's uh, trying to line it up for the next spawn. As he backs off, he's actually going to risk full here. Panzer comes out. Lots of uh, crossfire on this main road. I think there's a push down the cave as well. Was a bit of a weakened attack by the looks of things on this main road. Maybe they'd uh, got full. Not sure. Easy rifle shot from from Speculator. Isn't going to be able to pick up any kills, but did quite a lot of damage to the pushing covert ops. And so far, this winners uh, or TSB slash winners defense looks pretty solid. Queen's uh, struggling to to break this down, and this can be a very um, hard stage to defend, in my opinion. Really nice from Hunter, that triple frag there. All different ranges, you had close range, mid range, and then really long range. A bit of a, a triple effect. Does get dropped by Blade though, steady in hand. Push coming across the top now, H2O needs to get away. He does manage to, to back off, whether he's going to be able to get some health packs out or, out or not. I'm not sure as the plant is actually starting to come down at main. I think H2O managed to just get across as Genosta was moving in for the defuse, uh, sorry for the the uh, the revive to allow uh, his teammate to plant it. Nice work from Menace. Double grenade again. The specular in the big double kills. H2O cleaning up. Picked up three frags. I think there's five in total in the last minute or so. I think he's all alone at CP now. He needs to get some backup. I think maybe we might have a sniper. Is that a sniper? Or is it a Sten? So we have got H2O getting a lot of frags in. But he should be overwhelmed quite soon. He has got some backup. Not needed. I don't think he's taken any shots though. No one's shot at him yet. Nice revive. No Gibbs. You hate to see it. It's a bit of damage. Nice rifle as well, Specular. And we have managed to retake CP. Quite a lot was down to uh, that damage that H2O was dealing. Just seemed to ignore him. I think he took a, a little bit of damage. Push coming down the main roads. Maybe maybe uh, you know, a bit of a shrug. Not much to play for for the Allied team. Whereas the Axis, uh, this is it. This is it for them. Well, 
Cook manages to finish that off finally. Make sure it lasted quite a long time. Now strike in the open. I'm gonna easily get away from that one. And the plant should come down at main. As I was just looking in the air when I had free cam. That was really strange. Plant has gone down at main indeed. Maybe a plant towards east very soon. Yeah, I've got a second engineer coop, but he'll hold on to his charge, I think. I need to get that third engineer in. Maybe closing in for that defuse. 15 seconds or so. Not much time on the clock. They have got a rifle. Nice. Airstrike comes out. Try to block it when there's a cave right there. I mean, you can just go in the cave. Defuse will come in, though. Really nice work from Specular. He is going to take a full spawn for it, but... While he, he takes 30 seconds, he gives his entire team 30 seconds, if you know what I'm saying. Because they have to plant it again. And the plant hasn't even come in instantly. So he's giving his team a lot more. Nice work. Not going down at east. And so you're going to see the engineers closing on main. Took a while. Took about another 15 or 20 seconds. So really nice work from Specula. He's going to have already spawned back in. There we go. So it didn't cost him anything, really. Panzer boosts over the top. My pod uh, charged that shot up. Where's he going? Where's he going? They don't know where he is. We'll, 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 uh, we'll hold on for that, to that one for later. A couple of players on this wall. And if they get a couple of kills on the spawn here, this could be really good. Because we know something that they don't. Where is he? Where is he? Where is, where is he? <laughs> okay. Maybe they found him. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to find him. Yeah, they must have found him. Oh well. That could have been fun. These pointers coming in for the Allied team. They haven't got too much time though. Six and a half minutes. Big frags coming out from Hunter. Picks up four frags, double artillery, and then a mix. Actually, it was uh, one artillery, one grenade. No, it was two artilleries. Two artilleries. Well, yeah, two artilleries, a grenade, and MP40. Everyone having different tag colours makes it really difficult sometimes. Especially when I, I'm, I'm this hot, I'm actually not really seeing colours. I don't know, everything's just a blur. Pressure's going to come in towards the east side. All oh, that mine. Maybe backs off. iPod pushes through. Nice revive work from iPods. And they're going to be able to pick up the kills. They should start making their way up top as well. Lots of damage going Leku's way. Oh, the mine. I used to love that mine. You open that door, it insta blows up. There's nothing you can do. That's the, the engineer has already made it up top. They haven't got much time, I already said. So they need to get this build in. It's different. It's a different view, isn't it? No medic. Cresty's going to finish that off. Oh, nearly gets taken down by the second rifle from Specular. And the truck has made it into position, but... Oh, no, it hasn't. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That was nearly two really good rifles from Specular. I need to get a, a plant on that con on those controls. I don't think they have a covert. They only have to press the button. I don't think they've still not got the truck into position, actually. I was going to say, I don't think Coop saw him. I saw the name, but he didn't see the, the player model. And allies really are running out of time now. Nice work from Specular again. That's going to take a lot of damage. He needs to be careful. He's on a long spawn here. Presti's going to push towards him. There's two out for a very long time for the Axis team. They haven't got their truck into position just yet, I don't think. Oh, they, do they did. They did. Plant's going to go down. But they can still press the button, even though the plant's gone down on it. Nice work from H2O. Plant down on the back of, uh, of the crane area. Maybe an engineer's going to go for a defuse here. Easy defuse. Panzer comes out. Nice work from Blades. I think that's a 10 second spawn. 20 second spawn. Nice work from Blades. The aggression from the TSB team, or the winner's team, or 
Whatever you want to call them. Now we're going to be able to pick up three frags. Leku's playing this like CSGO, he's him like counter strafing constantly. Push coming towards east. Menace has already made it inside. And he does manage to make take down Stone Edge on back on a full spawn. And I think Stone Edge was kind of taken by surprise there. I don't think he thought they had that sort of control. Blade gets another Panzer frag in as well. Nice work from Menace. He's going to get a lot of damage towards Leku. He needs to get picked up. Four frags coming in for the ally team. Only Specular alive and, and H2O on that middle area. H2O gets dropped. So all on Specular. What's he going to be able to do? He hasn't got any charge. He is going to be able to pick up two. He went for the give of a medic. Gets the headshot off on Krusty. He did slow him down quite a bit. Where's the Panzer? Nade's going to rein in. They are going to get that, that frag in, but... They haven't actually pressed the button. Menace was there. Nice. They haven't got much time. 2 minutes 40. H2O in position. They have secured the first gold crate. Christy tried to get away. Janusta's going to get that truck rolling. He's going to get taken down. And the truck is now at the back of East. Axis will stream out very soon. Mine's all over West Exit. Where are the Axis? Respawn coming in. Too late. Strike comes out. Janos is going to go for that block. Could have just kept on escorting the truck. Still, they still stopped inside main. Although I can't find an Axis player that is alive anywhere. So I think that's it. That's definitely GG. That's going to be the 4 0 victory. And Queens looked really solid on road defense. A little shaky on their attack, which uh, Elysium. I'm going to be honest, we'll probably take advantage of. They need to shore things up a little bit. I, w I did say that they didn't have much to attack for. You're attacking for a 4-0 to zero victory, which some people don't get motivated by. I used to. My, my team used to want to go for that 4-0. to zero. In our stubby, the scoring system was slightly different. So it was the entire last round, which was pointless, basically, if you've already won 3-0. to zero, But generally, um, you would play it out. Looking at the frags, 47 from H2O, but 9.3k damage going away of Leku. He was hitting some shots. He was getting loads of headshots. He wasn't always finishing them off, and that's why he would have had slightly lower kills. Uh, looking across the other team, 58 frags coming out from Menace. That's really impressive from Menace. Considering how well Blade did in the first half and the 11k damage, Menace picking up 58 frags really well. Well played from him. But as I said, it is going to be a 4-0 victory.